Hey everybody, this is Joe Pace with Ice Water Yoga, and today we're going to be working the arm balance called Ekapada Kundanyasana 1. There isn't really a better English equivalent name, so just bear with it. We can call it EPK1, unlike its cousin pose Ekapada Kundanyasana 2, which is also known as Hurdler. That name Hurdler is a little bit easier to remember, but if you're going to be doing Ekapada Kundanyasana 1, you might as well know the name. We'll call it EPK1 for today. Okay, so we're going to break it down in five steps so that you have the ability to work towards it and not rush into it before you're ready. So step one is a really simple lunging twist. Setting up your lunge, your feet are hips width distance, and they're as far apart from each other front and back as feels comfortable for you. Now you lean your upper body weight forward, take your hands to meet at the center of your chest, and then take your right elbow across the left knee, doing your best to not twist crazy deep into it, but to support the twist with your core. Lift your right hip, so the opposite hip higher, to level it off with your left hip. Breathing deep, get long from the crown of your head through your right heel, and just breathe here. You wanna be able to hold this pose for a pretty good long time. As you start to get comfortable, you can extend the right hand to the floor, left hand toward the ceiling. This is accentuating the twist that's happening in our Akapata Kundanyasana 1 EPK1. Coming back where you came from, return to lunge. Make sure you do the other side. So step two is a little bit more dynamic. We're gonna be on our arms, and it's gonna be actually something that might be pretty familiar to you if you've done a vinyasa yoga class before or a flow yoga class before. We'll take the right leg high, and we're gonna bring the right, el right knee across the body to the left elbow. So this is a starting point. You can stay here, tap the right knee to the left elbow. Again, more core work, more arm work. Breathe. That's one variation. Another variation is to take the right knee to the left elbow, lower it with your core, lift it with your core. That's another variation. A third would be to bring the right knee across and extend the leg long without letting it touch the floor or letting it touch the floor, whatever allows you to keep both shoulders level with one another. Again, all core work that ultimately supports the full pose. No real number to shoot for here. Just get comfortable there. You wanna build strength in the upper body and the core to start supporting the pose. The next pose we're gonna do is just simply side crow. So it's actually an arm balance. And the beauty of this one is it's really the foundation for EPK1. We've done it before. There's a, another video on side crow, which you can watch if you'd like, which we also have five steps for. So if you're not really ready for side crow, I recommend watching that video. For side crow, we're starting in a low position. We'll take the arms outside, in this case, my left leg. I bring my right elbow to my left knee, just like the twisting lunge, and I bring the hands to the mat. Notice my left elbow is touching nothing. We wanna keep it that way. Keep the elbows hugging in towards one another, and then I rock my weight forward, elbows in line with my wrists. I lift both legs off the mat. Breathe here, holding the twist, Deep breaths through the nose. Come back where you came from. So that's side crow. Just so you have a little bit of an understanding of terminology, ekapada means one-legged. Dwipada is two-legged. So if you hear dwipada parjva bakasana, that means two-legged parjva side bakasana crow or crane. So ekapada kundanyasana is one-legged kundanyasana pose, uh, but what we want to do in, th in these steps sequentially is work the regular side crow, then we'll work dwipada, two-legged side crow, to then ultimately do the full ekapada pose. So these poses are all related to one another, which is why I'm mentioning it. For side crow, we set it up the same way. We're going to do it with two legs this time, and I'll show you what that looks like. I'll take my hands right in front, set up regular side crow, and then from here, working towards extending both legs out. So now I'm balancing, bringing the crown of my head forward, the chest forward, both legs balancing in space. If that starts to feel comfortable, and you start to feel pretty solid with the legs zipping together, you're probably ready for the full pose. Thinking about holding side crow for about 30 seconds, being able to hold two-legged side crow for about 30 seconds before you move to this full pose, Akapata Kundinyasana 1, EPK 1. So for this one, we're gonna set it up just like side crow. Lean the body weight forward, legs lift, 
you can start with the dweeb pas de variation with both legs extending or extend both legs simultaneously, the bottom leg forward, the top leg back, maybe move to dweeb pas de, maybe move to side crow, and then come back. Before moving into that split leg variation, you want to get comfortable with the legs closer to your center of gravity. Then you want to keep those legs together so that you can control them a little more. Once you get control there, split the legs, take full EPK1. So there's another video on Ekapada Kundanyasana 2, 2, which is a little bit different than this pose. It's actually part of a different family of poses, but it's still a great one, something that you can also check out. I wish you the best of luck working towards EPK1 and also remembering all these names that we, that we talked about. Thank you so much for your time. I look forward to working with you again sometime soon.